Hey, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Mystical. What are we doing today? Well, it's that time again where we gotta go back into Jiggy Wiggy's place and do another puzzle to open up the next couple of levels here. Yo, what's up, Banjo? Just go to the puzzle and leave me alone. Oh, that's what Banjo sounds like now. I guess he would be <laughs> that like. Was, that, was, that was Jiggy Wiggy saying that. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, the fire level. Oh, it's more than just a fire level. It's the lava level. It's the fire and the ice level. It's the molten magma level. It's both. It's the fire and ice level. It's the fire and ice level. It's the Game of Thrones level. No, no songs, though. Oh, 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 that's fine. Well, fortunate. So, uh, fortunately, I like this level. Well, that's good. I should hope you would enjoy the game you're playing. It has its issues. Uh -huh. I have my qualms about it. Okay. But, uh... The next two levels here rank among my favorites. Well, that's good. Okay. In Banjo-Tooie or for both games? Uh, in Banjo-Tooie. I haven't thought about all the games because they work differently. Let's make a tier list later. <laughs> <laughs> this opens up the way to today's level, which is called... Hail Fire Peaks. Oh, I like that wordplay. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was originally meant to be in Banjo-Kazooie, but time, space, cut it. Time, space, resources. They already had tons of levels. And the gimmick with this one is that it is part the lava level, part the ice level. Freeze Flame Galaxy. What's that up there? That's a poffin! That's a globo. It's a globe. You see, it's got a little snowflake and a fire on it. Oh, yeah. I got you, dude! Ha ha hail fire! I got it's you, dude! Like hellfire, but hail fire. Hell f yeah, hail cause, fire! Because hail is like, you know, ice Cold and snow. Cold fire! Yeah. Well, we can go to the second one and open up the, the last level, too. I'll burn all the gypsies. <laughs> I don't think it's what that song is about. <laughs> I think it was more than that. Oh, what do we got here? This looks fun. Yeah, uh... I can't wait to get to that level. Oh, really? Yeah. Another good level. Um... Uh, another level that you enjoy. Without hyping it up... Without getting too much into detail, because oh, I want to focus God. on that when we get to it. It's about to say the best level in the game. My favorite level. Yeah, right. I, I see you're having a little trouble here. Yeah, I'm I'm, 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 I'm thinking he's moving around too much. <laughs> hey, me! In the puzzle, stop moving! Okay, alright, that's a corner. That's a corner. Good. But this oh, got a little bit right of this there. action here. Okay, yeah, now the corner. And then, Do you think Rare will ever release these puzzles? I mean, obviously they can't be moving, but they can have, like, you know, the hologram kind of thing. Nah. Because it belongs to Microsoft now, and they wouldn't dare put that much effort into something like that. Uh, I don't know. I, I think they, I think they still have authority over their IPs. It's ten years too late. No one will buy them. Well, that's true. It is time to unlock the final level. I hope you enjoy it. Jiggy Wiggy Power. Here we go. No skipping this cutscene, loser. Yeah, you never skip any of them. Behold the power of the mighty no-skip! I've beholden it already! It's been beholden <laughs> many times! I've Thank beheld! You. I've beheld! Oh, where on earth is this? Have we been here before? Through the crack. Oh my god. Oh, pterodactyl we're, land. We're going so fu- oh. Oh, this is the sky level, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I've created a heavenly warp! Or a fucking it's, bubble! It's a fucking bubble! Alright! So keep that bubble in the back of your mind. Wouldn't that... Because when we get on there, it'll be nothing but a good time. Oh, okay. I was just thinking having a bubble in my brain would just, you know, cause brain damage, but... It, it definitely would. Yeah, I think it would cause death, actually. Uh, it would cause some sort of blockage. And, uh, would definitely lead to, uh, some kind of expiration. And then there's no more Niskel. Yeah. And Gosh I, dang it. I need you for at least another two more years. <laughs> That's when every single game I've ever wanted to Let's Play done and over with. <laughs> yeah, no that, excess yeah, baggage. That, that whole wall? Only got about 20 games worth playing. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Your Honor, I'd like to call bullshit. <laughs> 
I will fight you. We've got, uh... And by the way, you're right. We have two more uh, units of health to get. We're just getting one today. Oh, I called it. But yes, that is correct. Uh, that is how many she has to give you. And we have just enough to get one more. That's cool. There you go. Enjoy that your new hula hoop. Let's see. All right. So that's one, which means that there are six more that we can get. All right. And, uh, and also the combs that we that we missed. There were some we missed in the previous levels. So after we do all the backtracking, we'll get that last honeycomb. Not going to lie. I can't wait for the backtracking. Just because in my sick mind, filling out the ledger and being like, oh, yes, we got 100% in this level and this level and this level. It just feels good in my brain. It is a good feeling until we get to those levels. It's a serotonin hit. It's like, yes, see that one zero zero with a percent sign next to it? That was all me. So we got a vulture up there. We got a globe up there, too. You can hear its uh, chuckling right here. I thought you were about to say you can hear its cry. Oh, some more, some more notes to get. Do, 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 do. We can use that to get up there if you need to, but we're just gonna... Yeah, oh my oh. god! We're doing something here, actually. That's right, that's right. Oh my god. Take these oh. shoes. Go up here. It takes us all the way. To a globo. To a Jinjo. Yeah. Oh. A real one. Hello. <laughs> Should mention there are ten Jiggies in the Isle of Hags, this uh, hub world. That's perfect. They are all the Jinjos. You know, I keep forgetting that there's stuff to do in the overworld. <laughs> yep. They have their own Globo, they have their own Mumbo and Wumbo huts. Oh, wow. So this is Hailfire Peaks. Whoa. And Gobi, poor Gobi, has finally made it to the lava world. His last bit of dialogue that he says in the end of Banjo-Kazooie, he has finally made it to the lava world. And he'll hang up there. Oh, damn. You know, I just realized they basically reused Gobi's model for the llama in DK64. Oh, yeah. These re they, re they reuse a lot of sounds, too. If you listen to Mumbo closely, he sounds an awful lot like Donkey Kong. Grant Kirkhope doing the Lord's work. So, uh, yeah, I really like this level. Okay. I, I don't love it, I really like it. Because it does have its issues. That Namely, uh... Hmm. It, it's really just one thing that bothers me, and it's on this side of the fence. Is it because there's ice in a fiery stage? No, no, because that's how air conditioning and refrigeration works. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I figured the science brain, there would be red flags all over the place. No, 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 this makes sense. I mean, I, would, I don't think there'd be a glacier next to a volcano. No, 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 no. It's these hands. Oh. The only way to get rid of them is with fire, with ice eggs, but oh, enemies always come back. They, they they pop out when you least expect it, they just block your progress, they, they add more time, they waste your time. If you get hit by them, there is a 90% chance you're gonna fall off the ledge. Fuck. It's, it's, it's just not good. Here is Mumbo's skull. Oh, that was fast. We'll be dealing with him later. We still gotta find his globo, though. Oh, God! So, this is the boss of Hailfire Peaks. He, uh, well, as long as we're on this side and he's noticed us, oh, here's his Globo. It's a Dargan. He's gonna be firing lava rocks at us, just shooting boulders at us. And if you get uh... close enough to this house here, he blows it up, revealing a flight pad. Okay, okay. And that's one of the things I like about this. They give you, fl they give you the gift of flight very early on. Oh, yes. So you get a nice view of, of the world, Woo! you get a good look at everything. <laughs> oh, what? I mean, okay, we'll, we'll You try get immediately hit pelted by a rock. It's 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 just nice to see. It's like Ooh, on the side of a, yes. of a mountain and all that. Yeah. Looks real nice. I like, I like. We got a, like a Colosseum type dig over there. Oh, good lord. We got a, a volcano up there. Oh, no invisible walls. No, no invisible walls. You know, at just, least yet. But... Well, ones that matter anyway. But, uh, we're gonna make our way in here. This is one of those ones where you gotta take care of the boss first. So you have an easier time. Because otherwise he's gonna be throwing rocks at you the entire time. This is Chili Billy! Hello, Chili Billy. You have a long neck. Ah, at last. You must be the pizza delivery boy. 
Hi, my no, name is Pizza. There, there was a whole shtick that I accidentally skipped about, you know, I was like, hey, ah, is shit. pizza delivery guy. Yeah, well, you ever get to deliver pizza, whoop ass on you. <laughs> you fire ice eggs at him. That's the only way to damage him. He's too strong for your grenade eggs. He obviously won't get Boom. hit by your, uh, by your fire eggs, and the regular eggs won't do anything. When he does that, he also does his tongue move that just, just kind of sweeps back and forth a bit. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. So do you think this uh, this guy is also voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch? I don't know. These cannons only take three eggs at a time. So oh, you can, okay. only, you can only shoot three no. eggs. Whoa! Whoa, that's Whoa. a spicy acid tongue. That's not nice. Luckily, I've got plenty of health so I can take a few hits. I'm so glad you can actually block everything. They, oh! they are not idiot proof! Oh! I was just about to give credit to the cannons blocking the shots, but man, that's mean. Yeah, that's that's cruel. That's cruel. We'll oh, get back well. up there and kill him. Yep, we'll do that. Yeah, get up there and kill him. Is he gonna do the thing again? Have you got my spicy meat special pizza yet? Sorry, no. Then I'll eat you instead. Uh, oh, well. Uh, eat the bird first. High in protein. Yeah, see. Oh, oh regular oh. eggs won't do it. Regular eggs won't do it. Grenades won't do it. Only ice eggs. Is this really the only reason they gave you fire and ice eggs? Is for two separate bosses in two separate areas with two different elementals? They, they don't have as much of a use as you think that they would. All right, all right. I mean, I just see, oh, hey, only ice eggs can hurt this thing. Maybe the occasional environmental hazard here and there. Maybe, the, you know, use us to traverse this way here. But aside from that, nah. Okay. Because I already see the, the ice place over there. Yes. And that's probably why we where we fight Chili Billy. Chili Willy. Chili Willy. Let's try to be coy about it, but there are two bosses in this world. Whoa! A fire dragon and, I and an ice dragon. Oh my god! Hey, you did it. And what do you think defeat? The what do you think is used to defeat the ice dragon? I think you use uh, the chicken robots. Well, you could, but uh, it's, it's better to use the fire eggs because they burn. Oh. You, you, you see how that works? Yes. God, look at that small body. I'm gonna get some big Al burgers. Burgers you can get over at Witchy World, which we'll get later. The big Al burgers. Uh huh. You know, if he actually went to Big Al Burger, that'd be kind of funny. I can confirm he does not. He doesn't show up there. He's, Damn it. He's just gone from the game. Missed opportunity. So, now we are free from, uh... From fireballs. From fireballs. There's Yum. still one more boss left to get. And Let's... we're gonna go destroy him right now. Oh, God! Ow, that hurts. Maybe we can still try and do a couple of things while we're here. Have you ever had dreams where you're falling? Yeah! Uh. Uh. Oh, man. Not, not dreams, but a waking nightmare right now, certainly. I've had one of those recently. They're still not fun. Have you ever had the snap awake kinds of dreams? I, where, hate, I hate those. Where you're not, you're not asleep yet, because you're still, like, conscious and you know what's happening, but you still have imagery in your head and then you start falling and then you're like <laughs> well I think it's kind of your nervous system too like I've had you see your, your body's very good at checking if you're still alive or dead so when the body hmm. slips into unconsciousness like that to sleep your body takes like hey hey you still alive here okay good it is kind of funny when that happens because I've had instances where I'm having, like, a little vision of me tripping over something, but I'm still awake, but also unconscious. And then all of a sudden it's just like, hey, you're tripping. <laughs> it's kind of like Inception. It's how you wake up, you gotta tip somebody back in a chair. The brain is, is a fun thing. Sometimes. I don't it's like- a, I don't like when the brain doesn't work well with others. Just a magnificent... I die, I die. Gift of evolution over millions of years. And then you have, like, the brain of an amoeba. It's it's so smart, it's so intricate and complex, yet it can be fooled by such the easiest things. Everybody go to our optical illusions. 
If you want your Fuck! if you want your brain to have a fun time. Oh, I'm sick of these things. Please, these, of course, only yeah. don't die. These, of course, are only taken out by ice eggs. Yeah, I can see why they would be annoying because you can't see the cracks. Yeah, I know you see it. Like this is the you feel yeah, it. Yeah, uh huh. Feel it in your soul, right here. Get out of here. It it just murders the oh, fuck me. Speaking of murder, it just kills the pace of the level. This is the only real hang up I have. Everything else is fine. Can you jump over them? <laughs> There's the anger jump. Yeah, that's the anger jump. All right, all right, all right. Focus up, focus up. So, Off we go. You can fly over here. Oh wait. There's a switch over there yeah. I, just, I just missed. Hello. How are you activated? Yes, press it. Uh, oh. What it does is the bigger question. It opens up a door behind the tent at the beginning of the level. Then a door right here in front of the uh, flight pad. So if we were to die or do a death warp, mm. we don't have to go all the way around the level again just to get this flight pad to get to where we need to go. Oh, we can just thank God. jump in that little portal and pop up right here. See, oh. see, that's a good thing. I like that. Thank God. <laughs> Level like Grunty Industries doesn't have a you know, nice warp mechanic like that. It just has four levels of pain. It had, a, it had a flight pad, but it was outside the place. You know, where hardly anything is. This one I feel like I have more maneuverability. Alright, so, so I got that warp pad unlocked. That's good. Mm -hmm. Got a split up pad here because there's a move by a ban- there's a banjo move we gotta learn here. Gonna kill these thi well, I still don't understand why you and Kazooie can't go up to can't go up to Mr. Mole there and get a move for either of them. You have to be alone. Sorry, that's that's military industry secrets. Cannot be privy to those who are unauthorized to, to witness such secrets. Yeah, but she's gonna see me use it anyway. But she won't know how it is done. The, well, I mean, jumping doesn't take much. I think she can do it better than I can. Hmm. Oh, oh. oh, I don't like you. Yeah, that way, at least to the icy side, you can tell because it's all blue. Alright, all clear there. Oh! They came back already? Oh, I hate these things. It's the, it's, it's the worst. How many hands do these things have? They just respawn. It takes. It, they just it takes no time respawn. at all. Yeah, no time. So you just gotta sit there and wait. And hope you're not in too big of a rush, like if you're, oh, I don't know, recording for a Let's Play or something. <laughs> they kind of remind me of the great Mighty Pooh's hands. <laughs> Just reaching it out for you. Looking for that sweet corn. Alright. Okay, it's over there. The move, or...? Yeah. Like, where are you going? Just trying to get my bearings here, trying to figure out where I'm going to be going. Down there is where I'm going. <laughs> Fortunately, though, if I die here, I'll just wind up back at the split pad. Oh, is that how that works? That's that's very merciful. Yeah, no kidding. And God, th that was fucking... that was not merciful. That was in between two places where they could get you, no matter where you were. So these first episodes for these new levels is me kind of getting my bearings. But now that I've already played and beat the levels and I've, I've done everything now, I'm like, dude, it's not there. That's you're, you're going the wrong way. It's that's all right. Where, it's not where you're supposed to go, but. Now you know how how I was when doing DK64. Yes. It's perfect. Yes. See, this is why we did all of these games together. I guess we can check out the Coliseum while we're here. Well, that's not... that's just a warp. <laughs> Alright. Um, I am getting lost. Hello? Hello? Bear here, ready to take out the Coliseum. Well, it takes me back to the beginning of the level. That's... good. I'm here to partake in the Fighter's Guild of Hot Cold Land. That's, uh, boiling hot lava, or water, I'm pretty sure. Let's go back to that split-up pad we were at. I just want to give you a high five! Come here! I don't think I'd do it here, but uh, if you're running out of health and you're by a split pad, go to Kazooie and split up again, you'll get some health back. Interesting. You found cheese in this game. It's kind of like in Kirby's Dream Land 3, you know, when you when you make gooey and you only have one hit. Oh, yeah. Left, you eat them and you get back to one and a half. 
All right, so I just gotta be—I just gotta be careful. I gotta be patient. You're gonna die. The move is around this ledge. Yoink! I just gotta get the move, and I can die, and then deal. You know, right there. What? God, fucking damn it! I knew it. <laughs> Why <laughs> did they put so many goddamn hands here? <sighs> They're trying to give you a hand. There are just, there's too many of them, and the fact that they're fire, and they can't be taken out by any other means, the fact that they knock you over these le these... I don't know, I don't appreciate that, but now we've got Shack Pack. I thought he was gonna give you something like Ice Punch. Ah, uh, let's see, protected in liquids you will be. It's basically where you get inside your backpack, but you put it over your head. Really? And you're protected. You're protected from, like, boiling hot water. How the frick does that work? Like, in reality. I told you! Military industry secrets that you are not privy to, civilian! What is that backpack made of? Like, if you're surviving boiling water in just a backpack, that thing has to be made of, like, adamantium or something. As of right now, this only has two uses. One of which we can take care of right now. Are, you, are we jumping in lava? No, not lava. Oh, okay. We're jumping yeah. in boiling water. Water. Very hot water. Hmm. There is a pool of very hot water up here. I wonder how a sous vide banjo would be. <laughs> hmm. It's basically <laughs> slip, slip in the that bag. On. See, the bag is open, underneath. I know. How? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, yeah exactly. H how? We, uh, get, we, we get a fish. Get a dead fish. And we got the the singular white Single Jinjo. Single white Jinjo. <laughs> hey, good job. Hey, a Jiggy is a Jiggy. Is that really even a family, then? Well, it's a family of one. He's a bachelor. Or, or maybe he does, like, uh, the Dr. Doolittle or something like that, where Eddie Murphy <laughs> is everyone. I don't like Eddie Murphy. Why not? He's, he's... I don't find him funny at all. I don't know. Some people find him funny, and, uh, it's cool for them. I just don't. There's only one stand-up act back in his younger days that I really yeah, liked. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the key right there. Back in his younger days. Because back in his younger days, he was hilarious. And now he's... Mm. I guess it's just... Ooh! It's the type of typecasting he's placed in, I don't like. It's silly. He has a lot more talent than movies give him credit for. And his movies don't really, uh... <laughs> They're not that good. They don't really highlight that. Uh, He's in a lot of crap. Why are comedians put in crap movies? Because they're not funny. But there's a lot of comedians who are in, like, films, and they don't get to use their own script. That is the problem. Because they're not- it's not funny. The movie isn't funny, so it doesn't do well. But th they put these funny people in there thinking that that'll make it funny, but you gotta have them do funny stuff and say funny things in order for it to be funny. They can't just be in there. <sighs> these are the aliens that we found in Witchy World, I do believe. We had to fire ice eggs and all that, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, uh, trying to find his kids, but then he falls out. He's just gone. Oh, what? yep. Broken back. Call it. This looks like a job for Pluto Nash. Ha ha ha. See how I bring that in there? Oh yeah, he's, he, and, and he dies. Wait, seriously? Yeah, he's dead. What, what the fuck? He's dead. And uh, that's, how you, that's how you start out the icy side of Hailfire Peaks. Aw, oh, hell no. Hail, yes. I gotta call in Norbit for this one. It's a Jiggy in there that we have no hope of getting at the moment. <laughs> we need Kazooie's brand new move. Regal Bash Part 2. There's no way to bust that open. Where you toss Kazooie like a dart. Can't melt it, which doesn't make sense to me. Can't blow it up. Which makes even less sense to me. So here's the second boss, Chili Willy. Hi, Chili Willy. He fires icy rocks your way. Oh, what? I did not see that coming. Switch looks rusty. You'll need more weight. More weight. Great. Great weight. A great weight. Don't be late for the great weight. 
No! Ah! Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, I gotta take care of this guy. I got I gotta do something here. It's fine. I didn't want your slate anyway. Didn't take a lot to open up those uh, ice cubes. Did right. that... Did that ice cube hurt you? No, I I threw a grenade egg at it, and the grenade get the, the grenade oh, egg. Oh, okay. Me. Can these things only be killed by fire? Are we it, doing this it, again? In one hit. Well, okay. See, these things, at least you know, I can kill them with other means. It just takes a couple hits to do it. Man, this place is huge. Yeah, this this, this is a big place. But I like it though because it's it's cut up into two. That is nice. And it has and it has recognizable landmarks as well. Makes it easier to maneuver around. So what do you think is easier to navigate this or click clock wood? Click clock wood, to be honest. Because of the four separate. Because it's it's the same level four times. This is two different levels split into two. This, Hi, this, young is, man. this is Mildred Ice Cube. She's looking for her husband, George. What are the odds that he melted? Uh, I will tell you, George is still alive. Oh, so that's good. Go find him. But we, there's a ginger in you. So uh, could you just? Can I just maybe? He's my prisoner until I. <laughs> there we go. All right, got the ginger. But you you killed her. Uh, yes, I did. You killed her! I did kill her, yes. Uh, this is Boggy's Igloo. I remember Boggy from Freeze Easy Peak. He's also in Nuts and Bolts. Right now he's, uh, looking a little on the fat side. Explains why he got- way he gets his gym in Nuts and Bolts. He get, getting into shape and all that. Oh, I didn't even know that. He used to sled and race all the time, but now he's got this, uh, big screen TV showing what looks like it's Mr. Pants. That's... That's a sack. That's a package he's uh -huh. watching on TV. And they call him Mr. Pants? You say? No. No, here. So, uh, that fish we got in that boiling water, he wants that, so he's like, Okay, great, more- <laughs> There you go. J isn't that the second time he has tried to eat a jiggy? I think the jiggy was in the fish. Wow. If it's not edible, you don't want it, he says as he chews on his scarf. <laughs> I'm getting desperate! Come on, help a bear out! Boy, bears are stupid in this world. <laughs> Wait, so that was the only fish we had to feed him, or...? Yep, that's all I needed. Oh. Uh, there's a... There's a Jiggy that we didn't get in Witchy World involving his wife and kids. When we take care of them, they will end up in there. Gotcha. This is a mumbo pad. Something oh. we can't really take care of yet. Fantastic. And... Who's that guy? Yeah, what the hell is this? I well, can't do anything with him right now. I guess we need Mumbo. Yes, sir. Yep, that, that's about it, really. Ah! Have a problem with your marriage? Better call oh, Mumbo. That's, that's freezing that's cold, cold water! That's cold-ass water! Wow, oh my god! One aspect of Mario 64 that I always found terrifying was water being too cold to swim in. Too cold to live. Too cold to live. And it's like, wait, why is Mario dying? Wait, no, no, it's the water! Bloop, bloop, bloop. So cold that it burns. What the? What the? It... Alright, whatever. Weird ledge. I, I do remember that water being underneath the... Underneath the Bullies Arena, I believe. Uh -huh. Where you just... <laughs> and it's just so cold it burns. Right, warp point set up. Very good, very good. This is by the oil rig that we just saw earlier. It's kind of getting our bearings here, just exploring the place. You're casing the joint. Casing the joint. Time to steal this dragon's ice cubes. Because uh, you want to know a secret? By the time that we finish this level, and we can move on to the next one, we'll have done everything in it. Every single thing in this world. Every si well, not every single thing, but all the collectibles, we will have done. We'll have to come, we'll have to come back here like a couple of times for some minor things that, in that are involved in other worlds. We've reached the point of completion. We're now at the point where we can actually clear the next two worlds. We can clear them the first time through when we get to them. Fine. Man! This is Icicle Grotto. The icicles come to life now. 
Everything has eyes. Everything wants you dead. That was a Cheeto page. Ow! Are we hmm. close to killing Ice Dragon? Where is it? Is it a Jinjo or a Minjo? That's a Minjo. <laughs> I'm twerning! <laughs> you. Shock pad. Yep. Shock pad. Whoa! Yes. Here we go. And. Oh, thank you. I am going to die if I'm not careful. Thank you. But there's a warp pad up here, so we can come back anytime we need to. Get what? What? The... Oh, I fell behind the waterfall. Oh. That's ice falling, and I fell behind it. There's. I, I see. I need to hurry. No, I'm gonna no, die. No. All right, can we, can we can we get to a place now? Where's all the health? Ah, come on. Like seriously, why there. aren't you getting honeycombs? I don't know. Sometimes they don't give them. Sometimes they're stingy. They're I haven't seen too. health at all in this stage. Ding. What? But that one didn't have any. It's it's just whenever they feel like it, completely up to chance. That's ridiculous. Oh. Yo, Ice Dragon. Well, this uh, doesn't lead anywhere right now. Hmm. All right, maybe we should uh, start thinking about taking care of the boss now, yeah? Taking I mean, care we got, of the boss first thing. I mean, we got uh, two warp pads set up in each part of, of uh, the sides here of Hailfire Peak, so I think we're looking all right. We haven't even gone down this area down here. And this is where we need to be. Let's follow this icy path down here. It takes you to this guy. It's Bigafoot! <laughs> he has a monstrously gigantic toe. He must have stubbed it a lot. No, ew, no. His toe is gigantic, and what you do is just, well... <laughs> Without getting too close, just hang around here, then the boss will uh, start throwing some rocks your way, eventually. Just wait for it. Really? Just a few more seconds. Just, uh, really? just hang around here, and then right onto his toe. <laughs> it got bigger! Ooh, ee, wah, uh, my poor enormous <laughs> foot. Where's the first aid kit? We gotta go right now. We can get these. To go where, though? Up the spire? There were some tracks that we saw earlier. First one's here. Ah. Second one is up here. Just follow the path. I have a bad feeling this episode's gonna end with that last piece of health being your death. Don't assume things when it comes to this series. Because look at there. Okay. The biggest plot twist in this game is you surviving right before a boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing. But here we are. The right. second boss fight of the world. Kill Chili Willy. Chili Willy, the cold and icy dragon. You must be the pizza delivery. It's, it's, it's the yeah, same Oh, stick. not you. <laughs> you know, I would kind of love it if he was just... just cold towards you. I'm sorry. You know you know what I had before uh, I, I came over here? Cold brew coffee. A cold turkey sandwich. Uh, oh. Oh. I, I, I had a sandwich and I gave up smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all together now. So uh, one difference here, uh, depending on which dragon you fight first, the first dragon has six health points. Mm -hmm. His brother will have double, oh. which means you have to use every single cannon, every, oh. every single shot from every single cannon to take him out. Well, that's cool. Then, well, uh, oh well, that was that was <laughs> idiot proof. It is not, and mm -hmm. I am no idiot. It's a matter of perspective. And now we're back. I don't know why I got ice eggs again. He eats fire eggs. Have you come to deliver my pizza? Shut up and die! <laughs> Please, no, I love pizza. 
Ooh. What kind of pizza do you like? Um, well, new good old fashioned pep guy, or. I like pepperoni, but I also like salami. Salami Ooh, makes an, an incredibly great topping. I agree. It's kind, it's kind of like pepperoni, but it's like a different consistency. Not as, not as spicy, but every bit as savory. How about stuffed crust? I do love me some stuffed crust. I have found the ways of a stuffed crust chicken bacon ranch pizza. That sounds illegal. Is it stuffed with chicken bacon ranch? It is the regular stuffed crust. You know, you basically get a cheese-filled breadstick. But chicken bacon ranch is so good. It is horrendously bad for you on the calorie count. But my god, does it taste good. So what kind of pizza do you not like? Hmm. These days, if you put veggies on it, I'll eat it. Except for olives. I can't do olives. Just I, I've I've never liked them. Just something about them. Me neither. You know, it's it's the pimento they put in them. It just makes me gag, literally. Just green, black. I don't care. It's all bad. I've learned that I de I despise Papa John's pizza. That's where I actually get my chicken bacon ranch pizza. Yeah, I, 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 dis I despise it because it is it has no spice. There's no no herbs, no spices. It is just the blandest pizza. Well, that's the day of reckoning, my friend. <laughs> Papa saw it coming. Oh, what? Is he actually going to start putting, like, pepper and oregano in his pizza now? Is he actually going to start using cloves that's or some... That's the day anise, of reckoning! Star anise or something? <laughs> See, it's a relatively local chain, but uh, my favorite pizza is Donato's Pizza. So it's, it's local to, you know, basically Ohio. Central Ohio. Yeah. Bit, typically, but it is... The best goddamn pizza ever. They they got spices all over their pepperoni, and it's they got this nice crust. It's cornmeal underneath. It's oh my god, I got it. This the, the sauce is just tangy and delicious. You can't, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. There's just something about it these days I don't like. Maybe it's because they can't get all the proper ingredients they used to have, thanks to you know the current times. It's still good. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've just had it too much and just doesn't resonate with me as it used to. You look at Papa John's; it, it, it they, they have flour on their crusts. Mm -hmm. They're gigantic. They're gigantic crusts that are not, not made properly. And yeah, they they claim to have the freshest ingredients, but there's no spices. There's nothing to add to enhance the taste. It's just bland. Nothing. Nothing carries it together. Better ingredients, better pizza, better ways to ruin my own franchise. Better ingredients, better pizza. Bland taste. Papa John's. Except for when you, you know, cheat the rules and get chicken, bacon, ranch. Or I add Tabasco. Or you add Tabasco, yeah. I, I slather my pizza in Tabasco. I love that I can cheat the system with a chicken, bacon, ranch pizza. If you get a regular two-topping pizza, you know, for whatever today's deal is, chicken and bacon, and then you just ask for your sauce to be ranch, and bam, no extra cost. See, I'm not a fan of bacon on my pizza. What?! Just, just, just not a fan. How about Canadian bacon? That's ham. I don't like ham. Hmm. Italian sausage. Like, it's not that I hate bacon on my pizza, it's just that sometimes they add too much bacon. And bacon is a very greasy kind of meat, <laughs> so yeah. then you have a very slimy piece of pizza. Well, that's why I don't like Pizza Hut anymore, because it's way too greasy. Like, uh, yeah. to the point of dissolving its own pizza. Oh, I don't know about that. Pizza Hut's bad. There's there's a, there's a another even more local branch around here that has it. It's so greasy, it's been dripping off of the slices. <laughs> pizza Cottage! Nope, that would be Crino's. Crino's is the greasy one? Oh, yeah. I guess I've just never... Pizza Cottage is very greasy. I used to get sick off of them. Then I, uh, then I stopped getting so much cheese, and well, that, hey, that that solved the problem. No joke, I used napkins to clean off my Pizza Cottage pizza, and people looked at me like I was crazy, and then I showed them the fact that you could see through the napkin. Uh-huh. And they were like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. What, mm -hmm. what have we been doing? You know one thing I've never liked is BLTs unless it's done right. Pizza Cottage has pretty good BLTs. They do... <sighs> They, they cook the veggies. <laughs> I don't know if I like that or not. They do? 
Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. There you are. No, wait, they're the ones that do they, it the they other ju way. They just make the they make the bacon pizza, then they, yeah, add, the, then they yeah. add the lettuce and tomato, and then they put the crust on top. There we go. And then it's like a sandwich pizza, and it's a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway, anyway. <laughs> no, that... Uh, never mind. Whoa, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was, oh, oh. I was thinking of another branch, I'm sorry. Another uh, brand of pizza. Why would you put lettuce and tomato in the oven? You ever played Night in the Woods? Uh, you showed it to me, but I never saw anything past that. D I, d I love Night in the Woods, but I'm not gonna get into that. It's a very, uh, very, uh... It's a heavy game. It's a very you game. It's a very, it's a very me game, <laughs> yes. Oh, here's Gogi, by the way. Alright, let's get rid of all of his water. You, you, you think that, but uh, now's not the time to do that. So he's just hanging up here. But in Night in the Woods, there's a, there's what's called a pizza scale. You rank a pizza from one to ten, there's... One, which is inedible, and there's ten, which is, like, hyper-fancy. Well, uh, rank one is inedible, so, you know, fuck that pizza, and then rank ten is way too fancy. Everything from two to nine, good as hell. <laughs> well, yeah, he's not doing anything yet, because we don't uh, have the train in here. We need to have the train in here first, and we don't even you know, unlock the train station yet. Why do we need the train in here first? Because that's what he's used for. Until then, he's just kind of hanging there until he's needed. So, it's context-sensitive right now, and he's not, well... Oh, Stop! Well, well, I hate these things. So next time on Banjo-Tooie! We're gonna be uh, doing more in Hailfire Peaks, exploring the fire side, exploring the icy side, just getting a lot done. Try to get as much as we can. Then maybe Gobi will show up at some point to But he's right useful. there! Well, he's right there! Well, I mean, maybe. Get him! We'll, we'll leave him here for now. See you next time.